What's up guys, Skippy Apicanus here, and today we have an unboxing of uh, perhaps the greatest firearm that really has ever or will ever be produced, the Altor 9mm, which I will say, uh, cool enough given that statement, it was also made in at least the second best city, I think Tucson's probably a little bit better, Phoenix, which always tends to bring out, you know, just the best of things to the world. Uh, all jokes aside, unlike Phoenix, I can at least find some good things to say about this pistol. Anyways, yeah, uh, we were doing the unboxing of the pistol. Uh, you know, this pistol is a hundred bucks. Uh, a lot of you guys have seen them before and like memes and stuff, like the cheapest pistol. Fun fact, not the cheapest pistol, but um, the che I guess it's the cheapest new pistol that you can buy. Uh, again, I, I actually paid about 108 bucks after taxes. Um, and I will say we got quite a few interesting videos in relation to not only this, but very cheap pistols. Um, but anyways, let's get into the unboxing of what you essentially get with a $108 pistol. So, pretty simple. Hands are slipped a little bit. There we go. <clears throat> now it's not really secure, so it could roll around. Not like that means anything. Um, and by the way, with that, they do have accessories for this. Uh, I'm going to order not only a 380 barrel, because why not? But they also have this, like, really cool bandolier that has, like, two rounds on the side. As well as a holster, because this is obviously going to be my main carry gun. Um, but anyways, obviously you see the pistol right here. Um, got your lock, which I'll show you something that... Normally I don't pay attention to these, but it, just given how this pistol is, it's kind of neat. You got a very detailed instruction book. Um, I mean, it, there wasn't any penny pinching on that one. It's pretty detailed. Definitely going to totally read it. Um, yeah, that's all you get in the in the, in the the box with the pistol. Um, I'm impressed they gave you that much stuff. Now, anyways, if, you, if you're not aware of how these uh, work, so essentially, the you pull the trigger back. It's not a traditional trigger. You pull it back until you slide, 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 and then you lose grip, goes forward, and fires. Um, and the way you'll load it, too, is kind of just lift that up, pull it out. And then with a dummy nine we got right here. Now, notice the firing pin sticks out, and it's going to be pressed against the uh, cartridge. Uh, now, I don't know if you guys saw the in-range video where Carl was kind of being a little baby about that. I mean, I know it's not the best of design. I don't think it's going to go off. I mean, not the best of design, but this is a very light spring. Anyways, take that. Press the trigger in a little bit. And then rotate it to the fire position. Were this a live cartridge, of course, you would aim, pull back, and fire. And then, of course, uh, had we not fired it and it's still alive, put it in safe, which what this does, this is actually kind of how you would carry it because, uh, assuming hypothetically you were going to carry this, um, let's let's see a very hypothetical scenario. Um, <clears throat> this will keep the firing pin off of the cartridge. There is also this safety, which I was looking at. Um, I don't really know the point of this, to be honest. I mean, it stops the trigger from going back. Maybe for, like, holstering it, I guess. Uh, it, again, in the hypothetical scenario, you were going to carry this. Um, maybe with holstering it, I guess it does prevent it from, tra from over-traveling. Because if you guys watch the video, and then we'll also test it out when we actually fire this, um, you really do need to pull this thing all the way back. Um, at least when I was seeing guys shoot it online. Um, but yeah, basics of the gun. Uh, for disassembly, which... We'll do another video on that later. Uh, all you have to do is, aside from the barrel, you just press that pin out and the whole really advanced fire uh, control group and all that comes out. And then, of course, but you know, I'm going to be honest, for a cheap pistol, again, I wouldn't, I, I think I'd rather use a brick, but like, if I had to use this in a self-defense scenario, uh, at least the sights are kind of all right. I was, uh, you know, I... Again, I wouldn't really use this for self-defense, but I was playing around with it, you know, just drawing it, just seeing how it was. Those sights are actually, for what it is, pretty nice. Um, but yeah, that is the Altor unboxing. We will, of course, take this to the range, I think, Monday. So, well, it'll be posted Friday, I imagine. But um, that is if I'm not laughed out of the range. Uh, but yeah, that is what you get with the $108 pistol. Oh. Before I forget, the lock for the child proofing is 
Again, it's not something that I would you know, normally care about. I don't think anyone's planet uses these. Um, I know they have to have them, but this one is neat though because of how it works. Essentially, what you do is you just clamp it over right there, and then you'll take the comes a little padlock. You'll take that little padlock, put it right there, and that trigger won't be able to go back. Uh, again, I, I normally don't pay attention to that stuff, but that is kind of neat. So, uh, yeah, that's the unboxing of the Altor 9. Uh, again, I'll get a 380 barrel, just because why not, as well as the accessories. And then we'll, we are going to have uh, actually some quite interesting videos with not only this pistol, but uh, as mentioned, uh, some pistols that are actually even cheaper and that aren't single shot. Uh, assuming I can win some bids on Gunbroker. We're going to be having some fun with cheap guns this month. But uh, anyways, hope you all enjoyed the video as much as I personally enjoyed making it, and I will see you all next time.